Product returns after the holidays are becoming a big headache for companies. It's estimated shoppers will bring back $173 billion worth of stuff. But a Wall Street Journal report says returns have created a loss in profit for some businesses. That's because most products aren't returned to the shelves to be resold or they get heavily discounted because it's no longer in season. Good news for bargain shoppers, but not stores. If you do plan on returning something, just know more stores are adding return fees and shortening the return windows. Heather Sullivan is taking a look. Since returns spiked in the pandemic, more retailers are charging fees to recoup their losses. And returns don't just cost the retailer, they cost the environment too. Ready to return gifts that weren't quite right? Consumer World's return policy survey found more stores adding return by mail fees. TJ Maxx and Marshalls raised their fee by a dollar, so it's now $11.99. Macy's has added a $9.99 uh, mail-in fee if you're not a member of their loyalty plan. So obviously it's a free plan. Go sign up for it so you don't have to pay that fee. Return tracking company Narvar reports 40% of retailers now charge return fees. And fashion reselling platforms Poshmark and Real Real report increases in clothing being sold with tags still on as consumers look to recoup what they paid. Consumer World also says more retailers are shortening their return time limits. It says Macy's toy returns went from 90 days to 30. And Walmart now only takes major appliances back within two days. Amazon, for example, you know, in past years, you could buy something in October and return it until the end of January. This year, the Amazon return window only begins on November 1st. While many retailers sell returns to liquidators who resell them to the public at discount, return software company Optoro estimates 5.8 billion pounds of returns end up in landfills every year. That has launched some newer businesses that divert those returns from landfills and resell them. We work with some of the largest retailers on taking their returns, diverting them from landfill. They come into our facilities um, where our team does quality and condition checking. Rebel Stork sells returned baby gear online. 80% of the product that is returned is unused, so it's brand new product um, at up to 80% off of regular price. Turning what may have been a returned holiday gift into the gift of savings for someone else. Here are some tips from Consumer World. If the retailer charges a return by mail fee, return the item to a local store where it's free. Have the receipt or gift receipt and return it in its original packaging. If you don't have a receipt, you can also use a credit card statement or some stores can look up the purchase on your credit card and be sure you return it by their deadline. Returns without a receipt may mean store credit, the lowest price the item sold for recently, or even no return at all. You'll find a link to the latest return policies on Sullivan Smart Sense on Fox26Houston.com. Heather Sullivan, Fox 26 News.